Now, Barry, talk to me about this machine. What, what's going on here? What you're seeing here is a actual deck brush being made. This is our 10-inch brush, and these are staple set brushes, which means the filament is held in the hole by a staple. The machine runs in tandem. Both sides run together. Both platforms move at the same angle. So hole number one is drilled on A side at the same time that hole number one on B side is filled. What, what type of wood are you using for that block? All of our woods are premium hardwood, similar to a maple or a beech. Okay. Now how long does that actually take to make a brush? Depending on the brush model, it'll take between 45 seconds and a minute and 15 seconds. Now once it's all made, where does it go from there? From this process here, we have another machine here called the trimmer and flagger. This machine is similar to giving the brush a haircut. The machine actually runs the brush through, cuts all the filament to the same length, and then at the end of the process, there's special blades that actually split the filament ends in half and in half again to allow it to soak up more soap and water, which you'll see when the brush comes out. I noticed that your filament on this particular brush, Barry, is crimped. It has, it has a crimp, a, a distinct crimp to it. Why is that? What the crimp does is it throws, when it's all cut the same, every tip is facing in a different direction, which allows it to clean more surfaces in more ways at once. Not everything's perfectly smooth. Dirt's all over the place in all different directions, and by the filament facing different ways, it grabs more dirt. I noticed that um, in your line you use different filament. Yes, we do. Barry, what are they for? Different filament for a different job. They always say use the right tool for the right job. We have nylon, polypropylene, and polystyrene, and they come in different thicknesses and strengths. An isinglass on the boat, a plexi, you only want to use the nylon on. It's the softest and it's the weakest. What it does, it will bend the easiest. Most of your general cleaning, your gel coats, you'll use the polypropylene. Okay. That's what we're running right now. Um, and this comes in different grades. We have a soft and a medium. And then our white is a polystyrene. And this is our most coarse. You're gonna get the under of the boat, get the, the scum line done, uh, your teak, it'll scrub real well. So you gotta use the right one for the right job. Make sure you take care of your vessel right. As you know, John, with any product, the most important thing and the key to any good product is the quality. The first thing we do in this stage here is we inspect the quality of the wood block, of the way it was assembled, the way the filament went in, and make sure that everything's nice and ready and aesthetically looks good, so it looks nice on those big yachts out there. What, what's she putting on the block? Uh, the white piece is a soft rubber bumper. Each one of our brushes gets assembled with that. That protects the brush from scuffing up the boat and the gel coat when you get overzealous in your uh, washing. That's a good idea. From there, you notice she put in this uh, aluminum adapter. Every one of our brushes and attachments has one of these, and this adapter gets put in with a stainless steel screw, again, so everything is rust-proof, and has this stainless steel locking pin, what we call our Sherlock system, and allows this handle to go, this brush, I should say, to fit in any one of our handles. That's really the key to this whole system, is that handle. Yes, and, and you build them here? We do build them here, other side of the factory. Let's go take a okay. look. Now what type of metal are you using for your handles here, Barry? All of our, all of our handles are made out of a heat treated aluminum. It's triple anodized to protect it from the elements. Okay. And now, the first uh, step in making a handle is obviously cutting the handle to the right length. Sure. And then from the, the raw cutting stage, we have to finish the ends to make sure that they're not rough. And that's what Gary is doing down here. Okay is we have custom made bits that will actually form and take the rough edge of the aluminum that's cut and give it a finished bull nose. And I'll show you a piece right here. If you take a look at this one that he just finished, it's actually rounded all the way around and you can run your finger on that. And you won't get cut or burred or scratched by it. Doesn't the handle go on one side? A grip does go on one side. Why would you do both sides? What, we, what we're concerned about always in boating is safety. And if it's rough on the inside and the grip, it can actually cut through the grip and then cut someone's hand. So we make sure we radius both ends so it's finished always. Where does it go from here? From here it needs to be punched. And this is our punch press over here. What will happen here is the aluminum will get slid inside and the machine actually presses down on it and puts a pattern of holes on it depending on what type of handle we're building whether it's a fixed length or a telescoping handle. And that's really the whole uh, secret behind this uh, system that you have is that the, uh, the attachments lock into the handle, right? 
Right, and I'll show you where we finish up the handles and some of our attachments. Okay. Over here, each one of those holes that is punched on the punch press will get radius and deburred, again, making sure there's nothing sharp to scratch anyone, that it's nice and smooth and radius. The inners and the outers on the telescoping poles will be mated together. Our locking spring pin and guide system will be put in. And of course, the labeling and the grips and everything to make it ready for retail. Now, now show us how your attachments fit into this. Okay. Any one of our handles, whether it be our telescoping or our fixed length handles, will attach to any one of our attachments, much like the brush that we made earlier today with you. This is one of the brushes we made yesterday. And if you just take it, push the button, it snaps right in allowing a positive lock, and you get to have one handle for all of your attachments on the boat. That's great. That's really got to save boat owners a lot of space. Yeah, you're, you're able to have one, one handle, all the attachments, less storage space, more things you could do. Barry, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. We need to head back to the boat okay. in order to start the process of cleaning it. Thank you, Barry. Thank you.